Sometimes the Steam controller gets a little bit confused and the gyro gets a bit discombobulated with it uh, drifting. And I'll give you an example of that. Now, if I hold down the gyro or activate the gyro, you see on mine, he's going sideways, even though I'm holding the controller relatively steady. Now, this, is, this makes it really irritating to aim if you're actually trying to be accurate, but there are currently two fixes to uh, remove this drift from occurring. The first one is to hold down the Steam button and uh, simply turn the controller on, on and off again, which works uh, for a lot of people in a lot of cases. The second method, which I find to be far more robust and uh, works when turning the controller on and off doesn't work, is you go into configure controller, you then go to the gyro option underneath the controller, you then scroll down and you go to this, which is not, it's below the haptic intensity settings and nothing selected on the screen, but you scroll down, you'll see where it is when you scroll down from haptic sensitivity and you'll see gyro enable button. Now you press A on that and you click upwards to make sure it says always on. You then click A on that and now the gyro is basically always on. So if I go back into the game, rather than having a button to activate the gyro, it's, it's always detecting it, which uh, is somewhat irritating. But the point is, if once you've got this on, you stick your controller on the table and you'll see at the moment, it's uh, doing this Tokyo drift, going around in circles, but after a couple of seconds or a few minutes, there you go, it's calibrated itself and it's now fixed the gyro drifting. So I can now go back into the Steam menu, the configuration menu, go back to the mouse option, go to the invisible menu that makes no sense and then set it back to right touchpad, which is what I use to activate the gyro and uh, updates and Lo and behold, it's fixed. We've fixed the gyro. So there you go. You can either do the elaborate always on gyro setting, turn the controller on or off, uh, either one of the two. If you do that, it should fix the drift. Now, fortunately, the drift doesn't occur uh, that often. It seems fairly rare. I'm not even sure what causes it. And it seems that it's just some obscure software bug at this point in time. So it will likely disappear moving into the future. But I hope you enjoyed that guide on how to fix the gyro drift with the Steam Controller. Uh, right now, I'm just putting together a video to uh, show off uh, even more improved uh, aiming and uh, gyro control with first-person shooters. And I've got it pretty damn good. Maybe not as good as a mouse, but it's getting close. So check that out. I'll put that uh, as a link to click on the screen right now. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video and uh, like the video and uh, also we've got a facebook page and all that business uh, links in the video description thanks for watching see you in the next video goodbye